What's up, Cream Heist? Welcome to another Criminology Educational Video. And for today, we will be discussing Traffic Management and Accident Investigation. By the way, my name is Sean Francis Sandiego, also known as The Professor. So before we jump into our discussion, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to The Professor, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next upload. So first on our list would be the definition and the concept of traffic engineering. When we say traffic engineering, it is the part of transportation which its function are planning, geometric design, and traffic operations of roads, streets, and highways, their networks, terminals, abutting lands, and correlation with other modes of transportation. So for easy understanding, traffic engineering, this is a part of transportation or one of the ease of traffic, which is its task in planning and geometric design of traffic utilities. So when we say traffic utilities, nandiyan yung mga roads, streets, highways, networks na maaaring gamitin for transportation. So what are the agencies involved in traffic engineering here in the Philippines? Nandiyan si Department of Public Works and Highways under the Public Act 1192 and the local public works and highways na mga local governments. What are the functions of traffic engineering? Fact-finding survey and recommendation of traffic rules. So through their planning and geometric design, nagkakaroon sila ng power in recommending traffic rules and regulations na maaaring ma-implementa in that specific area. Second is supervision and maintenance to the application of traffic control device, which we will be discussing later on, and the planning of traffic regulation. The objective of traffic engineering is to achieve efficient, free, and rapid flow of traffic and of course to prevent traffic accident. The application of traffic engineering is habitually congested areas, heavily traveled thoroughfare, congested local areas and intersection, special occasion events, disaster or emergencies, and of course school crossing. So yan yung mga uh, usually dinedesign or um, ina-amend ni traffic engineering para maiwasan yung mga uh, congested areas o yung mga traffic jams. The methods in planning and geometric design is the composition of traffic stream, what is the traffic volume na kayang um, i-occupy or i-accommodate nung road, and of course, the origin and what would be the destination of the roads and highways. For consideration of factors influencing design, nandito yung composition of traffic. So, sino ba yung mga gagamit? Is it pedestrians or mga motor vehicles or mga automobiles? Nandiyan din yung mga volume of traffic. So, gano ba kadami ang tao or yung mga uh, drivers and pedestrians na gumagamit nung uh, road and highway na yon? The speed of vehicle, the movement of vehicle, and the performance values. While for the regulation and control traffic regulation, it is based and confined within boundaries of traffic safety, public welfare, and convenience, limitations imposed on road users and their load, basic general rule of road use of conduct, and prohibited and restriction. So next would be traffic control. Traffic control is the practice of traffic engineering wherein it employs prescribed traffic rules and regulations and different devices to ensure and encourage safety and mobility. So ibig sabihin si traffic control, ito yung means uh, of traffic engineering para masecure yung safety and mobility and uh, to prevent traffic accident. So, what are the measures employed to control traffic? Nandiyan yung prescribing traffic rules and regulations. So, yung mga uh, specific laws and regulations when it comes to traffic to ensure the safety and discipline of the motorists. And of course, the use of control devices or traffic control devices. So, traffic control devices, these are structures and devices installed in order to ensure the mobility, efficiency, and safety of traffic. So, the pictures na nasa PowerPoint presentation is a sample of different traffic control devices. So, first would be the types of traffic control devices. Nandiyan si traffic signs, pavement or, or road markings, traffic lights or signals, and traffic island. So, first would be traffic signs or road signs. These are devices made up of metal plates designed to provide information to road users. While pavement or road markings, these are devices 
marked on the surface of the road used to guide the road users. Ito yung mga white lines sa uh, nakikita natin sa roads and highways or meron ding yellow lines. While yung traffic lights or signals, uh, I'm very sure na alam nyo yan, these are electrical device designed to control traffic at intersection or crossings. And the last one would be traffic islands. These are raised concrete portions of roadways that guide traffic. Usually yung traffic island, ito yung nakataas na portion ng roadway kung saan nadidivide niya yung or dinidivide niya yung um, road into an opposite direction. What are the functional classification of device? So, nandiyan yung regulatory device, warning device, and guiding device. For regulatory device, these are designed or uh, to inform the road users on traffic laws, rules, and regulations. So, for regulatory device, it is simply informing the road users what are the traffic laws and rules on traffic control na dapat nilang sundin. Second is warning device. It is designed to inform the road users of risk and threat that may be encountered if hindi sila uh, maging disiplinado sa pagdadrive or sa paggamit ng uh, traffic. And the last one would be guiding device. It is used to perform road users about routes and distance of any location. So this um, guiding device is more of informing the uh, traffic motorists or the drivers um, kung saan yung mga routes and kung saan nasa lugar na sila or kung ilang kilometers na lang bago nila ma-reach yung certain destination or location. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much. I do hope that you learned a lot. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the professor and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next upload. So see you on my next video.